The Stevenson Eagles will be one of the two teams suiting up for the annual Painting the Peninsula at Pink game. Despite being the away team this Saturday, cancer is something that hits some of the team members close to home. Here's Jake with more. When the Stevenson Eagles take the field this Saturday for the Paint the Peninsula and Pink game against the Gogibic Miners, they will be playing for much more than a victory. Hearing that um, it makes me very proud to be able to be a part of that. Uh, that's a big thing. It's touched our families and a lot of the families here on the team. So I know these guys are going to be excited to not only be in the spotlight, but to be able to play in that pink game. Stevenson head coach Logan Carlson knows firsthand the impact cancer can have on families. I know my uh, mother-in-law just passed away last year um, from breast cancer, so I mean this is this hits the whole team hard. We're a pretty big family, so anytime any of that happens to any of us, we all band together, and it just affects so many people. It's not just one, it's not just the family of the football team, but it's the entire community, so uh, like I said, this makes us very proud to be able to play in it. Senior running back Kanan Elson will be taking the field for his mother. Recently, I got the news my mom got cancer, and it's it's not the best thing, and I don't want anybody to have to go through that. So I'm, I'm kind of happy that we're doing this, and hopefully it raises enough money and helps some people get through things. This won't be the first time Elson has shown his support for breast cancer awareness. Last year, I actually dyed my hair pink for breast cancer, and it was just nice. I mean, some people looked at me weird, but I think it's just nice to go out there and support people. I'm a running back on a team that place for our town and we go to other towns and I, I think if people see that they're just gonna you know they're like that's that's a sweet thing to do and maybe they'll look into cancer a little more and maybe they'll even go donate some money. And just like the sport of football no one person can do it alone. Everybody is always on my back I mean I had to skip out on one practice and the whole team came forward and gave me a hug and they offered any help at all to give gas money to drive my mom down to the surgeries or just anything. They're always there for me and it's, it's the best thing ever just to have people on my back.